The isolation of the Ethiopian highlands has given sanctuary to Christian hermits. Many come to fast and pray. But a few, such as Abba Defar, come with a holy mission. Abba Defar was once a weaver and a family man. Then in 1959, he had a dream. In it, the Holy Spirit showed him a mountain church carved out of the rock. For the next 30 years, the dreams kept coming. Abba Defar struggled to understand them. Finally, he had a vision and the message became clear. A hermit appeared to me in a vision. He was dressed in white and held a long pointed cross. He told people to celebrate the coming of the Chosen One with the Golden Cross. A white dove settled on my shoulder. I knew from childhood stories that this sign was a call to religious duty. Abba Defar believed the white dove, symbol of the Holy Spirit, was commanding him to carve churches out of the solid mountain with his bare hands. It seemed impossible, but a second vision persuaded him that he would succeed. I was instructed by the Holy Spirit to catch a flying eagle. It's an impossible task. But the eagle just appeared in my hands. As an Orthodox believer, Abba Defar had no choice but to obey. Abba Defar has now finished four churches, each cut by hand from the rock. And the visions keep on coming. He suffers, but he works on, driven and yet strengthened by his faith. There are rock-hewn churches all over Ethiopia. Abba Defar believes God has instructed him to build more, and in doing so, he's following an ancient tradition. <laughs> 